everybody. Dutch Sense here. 1228 AM Central Time on Tuesday, October 14th, 2014. And I've got you looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. You can see a 7.3 magnitude earthquake just struck within the last hour off the shores of Nicaragua. And luckily, there was no tsunami warning issued with that. It was too small of an earthquake to produce a sizable wave. However, it most likely did produce some serious damage in the region. You can see how high it is off the earth here. That actually indicates how deep it is in the ground. That's an earthquake 3D feature. So it's relatively shallow, and that means there's probably some serious damage down in Nicaragua. Now, interestingly enough, the same time this happened, literally back to back, you can just see these pop off one after the other. A 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck just north of New Zealand in the Kermadec Islands, and we're talking just about 200 miles north of New Zealand. So to see that happen across the entire plate, we're talking thousands of miles across. This is said not to actually occur by professionals. That one earthquake on one side of the planet is not related to another earthquake on the other side of the planet. However, in the past, when we've seen very large earthquakes like the Japan mega quake, or when the two back-to-back -back borderline 9.0 struck here at the uh, Indian Australian plate, um, those caused back-to-back -back earthquakes to happen on the other side of the plate as well. As you can see, these earthquakes were then followed up with movement at the fracking operations up here in Oklahoma. And there's no doubt that is definitely fracking when we look at the earthquake activity that's happened there over the last week, seven days. We've got a stack of earthquakes standing above all else, even California. And that's there in Oklahoma with 4.0 earthquakes. Let me just go ahead and show you. Okay, multiple 4.0 earthquakes happening here in the Midwest. It's no surprise to see this huge cluster of earthquakes down here in the south. Look at all the 4 and 5.0 earthquakes surrounding the 7.0 that preceded this. This was all this last week, so this area clustered and clustered and clustered, followed up finally with that 7.0. Now, to have two 7.0s in the last week, I mean, that's a pretty huge increase in activity. We're starting to see an uptick in activity. That's no surprise. Look at the last seven days of earthquakes around the entire planet, 6.0 and greater. Let me go ahead and turn this up all the way. Make sure that's going to 6.0. There we go. Okay, so you can see Japan, China, New Zealand, Mexico, out here in the South Mid Pacific, and now Central America. So I don't have to tell you, things are starting to heat up a little bit. And speaking of heating up, the volcano activity is another sign that things are starting to pick up. We had a 4.0 kickoff here in Hawaii yesterday. Now that's volcanic related. They've got that new lava flow there, which we aren't hearing much about lately, but that's still on the move, and that's part of the Pu'u'u'u eruption. We've got Bartabunga up here in the north, just east of Greenland. Look at all the stacks of earthquakes here. That's associated with magma chamber movement. We've got movement happening all the way down the Mid-Atlantic Ridge from the South Pole to the Midpoint all the way up to the North Pole. Okay, cheers guys. Be safe.